understand how selfish we are as humans. And you also have to put right beside that how delusional we can be as humans. And when you merge the two, it is very easy for someone to sit within their residence and set their mental stratus on another being that they say that they care for and love, but really would love nothing more than to control, dictate, guide, and mold to fit the role that they have assigned for them and get it in their head that they're wanting the best for them. That they can see the best for them. That it's their job to show them what's best for them, even if they disagree with what they think is best for them. And the whole while, you're at home genuinely thinking that you're doing all of this, let alone any of this, for anyone other than yourself. The truth does not hurt when you know how to use your emotions. But if you don't have a mind of forgiveness, if you don't have understanding, grace and mercy being cultivated from the inside of you that you have begun to stir and awaken to so that you can utilize these faculties to help establish and reestablish certain truths within yourself. You are definitely going to have many emotional reactions to some of the things or all of the things that you see. Because one, we don't like to be wrong too. We have so many attachments and the truth exposes that the attachments are illusions and that hurts until you've grown to the place of maturity that you don't want attachments. See, it used to would have broke my heart to know that my mother and my father fed me, housed me, clothed me, and helped me through my adolescent years under the guise of love, but really being directed out of a fear of failure, a fear of being seen as a failure. Fear of letting those who came before them and letting me and my siblings down. A fear of being inadequate. A fear of not being enough, not having enough. A fear of not being smart enough. A fear of not being able to lead. A fear of not being able to communicate. And I'm so glad that I don't need you to love me in order for me to love you. Because until you have awakened to the truth of yourself, the truth of your creator, the truth of your universe, you can't love anybody. So I just ask you that. Have you moved into a presentation of love and out of a presentation of fear? Have you began to operate from your identification as a serial creator who stems from the serial creator and the outcomes could be, if done appropriately, exactly the same. You could have a 100% success rate. You could have a the, the same bad and average as God. You could have the same free throw percentage as God. And you say God never misses, and I don't disagree. But I disagree with this idea that there's a separation or a difference between you and the one who doesn't miss or can't miss. When you drop the act, when you drop the toxins, you can't miss either. But you've been searching for an answer somewhere on the outside of you when the only answer is on the end side of you waiting to be stirred waiting to be awakened waiting to be engaged with so now that you've reached a place where you need to know who you are and what you are and what you're capable of for yourself 
Following your parents in your youth was good for its time, but if you follow the guidance of your parents in your adulthood more often than that, than not, you will find yourself being led by the fear of a generation of defeated survivalists.